Hello friends, how are you all? I hope you all are good. Friends, what will happen during assembly if your assembly line is not straight? Confused? Okay, fine. I will help you. When you purchase something, if you don't stand in a line, obviously chaos ne sagars, right? Similar to daily life, what is the concept of straight line in mathematics? Do you have any idea about lines and line segment? So, today we are going to talk about lines and line segment. In the context of geometry, a point is a location. It specifies position of an object or place. It doesn't have any width, length and depth. It is shown by a dot. But when this line moves, it describes a path. This path may be straight or curved. If it is straight, then it is called straight line or straight path. If it is not straight, then it is called curved line or curved path. So, when we say line in geometry, we mean straight line. A line is a set of all points that extend continuously in either of its direction. It is infinite, straight and one dimensional. If the line is with double arrow, then it means it has no end point. But if the line start from one point, let's consider it as x and extend with limit towards y, then xy is a ray and it is denoted by arrow overhead xy. It has one end point which is also called initial point but no other end point. So, we cannot measure length of ray whereas if the line has fixed length and has both ends then it is called line segment. Simply, line segment is a part of a line. Have you ever thought why we say sun rays and not sun line? Is ray different from a line? Yes, it is. A ray has one fixed point and it cannot go in both direction like a line. For sun rays, the sun is a fixed point and thus we say light coming as sun rays. Friends, one interesting thing is that lines can be horizontal, vertical and slanted. When two straight lines intersect with each other at a point, then they are called intersecting lines. And that point where two line intersect is called point of intersection. But when three or more than three lines are passing through same point, then they are called concurrent lines and that point is called the point of concurrence. Friends, do you know we can construct and measure line segment? For the construction of line segment, we need a ruler. For this, first of all, place a ruler on a sheet of paper and place a sharp end of pencil at the zero mark of the ruler. Then, trace a line segment up to the mark you require. So, this is now a required line segment. To measure the line segment, place a ruler with zero mark coincide with the point one end of the line segment and then count the mark of complete centimeter. This is how we can construct and measure a line segment. I hope now you are familiar about construction and measurement of line segment. This is all for today. Meet you in next session talking about new topic. Till then, you all take care. Bye-bye.